Welcome into another Steve Henry show, and this is the show, I gotta tell you, we are part three in a part three series, that's right, this is where it's at. We have a winner, by the way, well, sort of, uh, it's a little premature. If you are not getting your menu ready for that wonderful day called Easter brunch, and go back through some of these videos and perhaps pull one, maybe two, maybe three or four different entrees, you're gonna put some pictorials together of this main event that we want you to prepare. And when you do, two or three pictures, hey, we had eight people and we had eight spinach and we had those Belgian waffles. Wow, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna, a brand new car. No, I don't know about a brand new car, but hey, somebody's gonna win something big, baby, because that's what we do here at the uh, New Steve Henry Show. Welcome in at four o'clock live or a little bit thereafter. Yeah, we stutter a bit, but that's okay. We're here, that's all that matters. And the bottom line is we are in the four, the four principles of Easter. Now, this is kind of crafted. This took me a little while to do, so hang with me, okay? The, the first uh, one, we did the Easter, we did that, uh, uh, beautiful omelet du jour. That was really cool. Last week we had those uh, crepes. Oh my God, did, did, were those bananas foster crepes awesome or watch? And the French toast. We had, or the French toast. I wanted French toast. My wife and I fought over that. We actually had the Belgian waffles and the fruit. But today we cap it off with the eggs benedict. And how do you make eggs benedict portable? Well, that's pretty tough to do. But the four signs of, of Easter, that's the four principles. The, the Virgin Mary, as in today. What do you do with a Virgin Mary? What do you make a Bloody Mary, boy? That's right. Now you can do it with that absolute vodka or you can do it without it, doesn't matter. But we put the spices in there, the brochettes, but look at how it's served. Is that a cucumber? No way, baby. Yeah, it's a cucumber. So you hollow out a cucumber, you put it on a stem, I said it's a watermelon stem, and you put your garnish in there and look, you got a Bloody Mary that you literally sippy toe, tippy toe, sippy toe out of a sea cucumber. Is that not cool or what? Yeah, you pass those around the party and everyone's having a good little time holding on to their, uh, that's a cucumber by the way. Yeah, a hollowed out cucumber. That's the Bloody Mary. So the Virgin Mary, the Bloody Mary, get it? That's the first uh, of the, the, the succession of progress here. The second one, Jesus did seven signs, okay? He did seven signs in order to tell us who he was. The first one was turning water into wine. Now, it was a wedding in Cana. He's uh, early, early on in his ministry, as we all know, and or should, and uh, his mom comes up to him. And you know when your mom comes up and says something like, uh, hey, uh, son, we got a little problem here. Uh, these weddings go on for like weeks and we're out of wine. Can you help us out? Oh, mom, I mean, I, I, my hour hasn't come, and I'm not a winemaker. I'm, 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 you know, I'm here for another reason. Well, we don't argue with mom, so of course we know what happened. He did turn the vats of water into wine. Now, if you leave that out too long, what happens? It turns into, yeah, wine vinegar. Well, what does that mean? Well, you cannot poach an egg. You cannot per perfect, perfectly poach, perfectly poach an egg without vinegar or the vinegar uh, chemistry in that water. And I'll show you how that's going to perfectly make that egg go just perfect on that platform that we're going to put it on and present it today. So we have the water into wine. That's uh, his uh, number two in this uh, sequence. Number three, he went to the cross. God rest his soul, but not for long. He did. He went to the cross in which we are going to display those eggs Benedict today flawlessly. You'll see that just draped on there perfectly. This is a buffet. How I'd want you to, to serve this. If you were going to do eggs Benedict and, and do a Easter brunch with a Jesus theme, this is how I'd want you to do it. Is this not cool? I guarantee you, again, it's that movie thing. They get in the car after eating your, your food and talk and have a good time. They get in the car. They're going to be quiet on the way home they're gonna be blown away. They're like, wow, and that's what we shoot for, the wow effect. We take an ordinary entree here on the show and we wow it, and that's what we do each week, or at least that's what we attempt to, for a party of six or more. The final, final thing is the absolute tomb. Now the tomb is where the fruit salad is housed, the warehouse. We have a tomb, nothing there but candles, crickets, and a tarantula. He's gone, that's right, he's gone, where'd he go? Well, we know where he went. And that's the four successions of the Easter Sunday brunch as they get their, their food. Now, we, we did one less, we flew over something quickly, and that's the O'Brien potato. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. We are here live in the studio and I am here. It's great to see everybody. Hello, everybody. Gosh, I'm looking at the board. We got numbers, every, I'm looking at that board that matters. The people board. Yes, the camera's there, I hate those cameras. Anyways, what a presentation for you today. We're gonna start off, as I mentioned, this is flyover country. We did the uh, O'Brien potatoes. Now you've gotta have O'Brien potatoes or some sort of starch with these eggs benedict. And what we did here today is we stuffed the potato with the O'Brien potato and we're gonna put a, a little cheese on it with a gratin. But those potatoes, they were cooked in white wine vinegar also. You gotta have that zing zang, zing zang, zing zang. Well, that's what we shoot for. So, as a matter of fact, we're just going to go ahead and do a little bit of... Oh, you know how I love fire, but that's just a little... All righty. 
That cheese is just going to melt ever so slightly on those O'Brien potatoes. What are O'Brien potatoes? Esteban. They are nothing more than uh, a bell pepper, the mush, uh, the bell pepper. I would say mushroom because that's what it goes with. The bell pepper, the onion, and uh, the garlic, uh, the cheese draped over it. So a little gratin O'Brien potato, if you will. That's going to accompany our buffet today in our starch mode. Boy, I'm on fire today, baby. You, you wouldn't believe what happened. I'm, there's so many things going on. We got the Jeep giveaway. We got uh, a beautiful Jeep. Now, I told you we're going to postpone that a couple weeks. Uh, Albuquerque's weather. Uh, we, we live here because of the weather, sort of. But uh, 83 one day, 40 the next. So I went to use the AC compressor and, of course, no AC. So we're putting an AC in that bad boy, and I'm going to be delivering that here in a couple weeks. So stay tuned. That Jeep will be given away. It's a blue Jeep. I might give two away. I got another Jeep, actually. So I'm thinking about giving two away, to be honest with you, and that would be really cool. Two Jeeps in one spin. So that's the grand finale, yes. Um, so stay tuned for that two weeks from now. If you are new to the show, we, uh, we're a show that we give. Uh, we, we love to cook, and that's a cooking show, but we love to give. If you haven't already done so, the comment section says, Steve, I'm here, baby. I can't wait till the show starts. Put your name in the comment section. Just let me know you're here. Shana, Shana Bodana is up front. Sold her a car two days ago. She got a nice 2018 Chevy uh, Trax, by the way. Very nice car. Nonetheless, she's up there putting that name in the spinner. That spinner will be brought to me about 420. And at that time, I will spin. I'm going to spin for a couple hundred bucks. I'm going to spin wild and fearlessly for 50 bucks today. Uh, but it's so important, loved ones, loved ones. Listen, pay attention. This is the only, the only part where I have to get kind of firm a little bit. I need your contact info. I go there and I do this every single week. But uh, I need your contact. If I'm going to write you a check and send it out on Monday, I need to know who you are and where you live. I promise I won't come personally on your door, but I do want to have the USPS mailman deliver you a check should you be spun out of that spun at 440 when I go and call your name. Okay, simple deal. So we give a Jeep away every 10 weeks. We're gonna give, uh, all right, I'm just gonna say it. We're gonna give two away this time. Got an orange one and a blue one. Orange one, um, yeah, it was a repo, but it's a nice Jeep. It's gonna make somebody a very, very nice Jeep. Might as well, why not? Just do it too. Times are so tough out there right now. How tough are they? They're so tough. I, I came to work this morning, both my front doors, glass everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it again. They didn't get any cars, but they did shatter my whole front windows. We have a plethora of windows up front here. It's kind of a display. And so, yeah, hit again. So, but you know what? We're doing the show and we're here, but it is so tough out there. Uh, every day, you don't know what's going to happen. Every day there's something. So I, I feel the pain <clears throat> of, of our people and <clears throat> I want to give everything back to you. And that's what this show is. This YouTube channel, the revenue portions after everything's paid, which hasn't happened yet. So you can only imagine when it does, how it's going to benefit and impact you. Um, yeah, we're just going to give it all back. Uh, we're going to come up with all kinds of ideas. So we have the spin. We have the cheap giveaway. Um, oh, the egg. Did everybody see the egg? Right there. There it is. We saw that on the Wednesday uh, show. We have a winner on that egg and I'm going to announce it right now. His name is Ethan. A seed for you. You actually got it twice and you did it before I even asked the question. So that's how good you are. You must have a Ouija board up there, Ethan, or something. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. We got a birthday, too. Logan, I think you turned four today. This kid is an amazing kid. And Logan, if you're watching, hello, Logan, my good man. Happy birthday. You are, and I do, correct me if I'm wrong, four years get away from me. Uh, a lot of things get away from me, but the years are one of them. Uh, I'm going to say happy birthday. And also, we have a winner, uh, not for the egg. Of course, we know the egg winner. We have a winner so far on the pictorial. And the contest, that's the other thing going away. I'm going to write a check for that. I want some pictures, loved ones, of your of your Easter brunch festivities. I've given you, I've laid out the entrees. I've laid out the table. I've, I've labored hard for this. I just need a couple pictures. Show me a couple pictures. Six or more gathering together for Easter that you prepared from the show. Go back and watch the videos. Yeah, watch these videos. That's how YouTube, this, this YouTube thing. Is that a chicken? Holy mo <laughs> You never know what pops up around here. This chicken has been laying eggs all week long for this event. And I'll tell you what, these are the freshest eggs you can only imagine. This thing is fresh. This is a chicken sitting on a bed of watermelon. It must be a, a nest of some sort. But uh, bok choy uh, represents its feather cavity and uh, a little red tail for its rooster tail. Roosters don't lay eggs. This is a hen. Got a little hackle there and uh, an eyeball. That's pretty cool. That is a, a, a egg laying chicken. Been busy all week long for this event to make sure that we have fresh farm laid eggs. That's pretty cool. So you never want no one knows. This young oh, Logan is three. I am so sorry. I'm trying to yeah, trying to push things here. This little girl, she is three also. Haley, meet Logan, Logan Haley. This is a three-year-old. This is Jeanette Z's child. Now, Haley is having a great time. This was last week. Look at this picture. Is that not cool? She is loving that omelet. Uh, that was our, our first one, our, our part one. Something like this. Uh, four or five pictures like this I'm gonna put on my wall. But yeah, Haley, so far, I'm sorry, Harley, excuse me. You know how I am with names. I can't even pronounce my own name. Harley, you are so far the winner. Now, that doesn't mean you've won because 
because we have yet to get underway with this contest. What's the contest again? Okay, simply put, I need a couple pictures from an Easter brunch festivity from the entrees that we have presented in the last three series here. That was the whole idea. We take a thing, we try to we try to make it interesting. And I, I just want some pictures. And I'm gonna I'm gonna provide the, the winner and say, wow, very cool. And I want those people that attend your function to go, wow, a tomb with candles? Nothing more than a cricket and a tarantula? Amazing. All right, so all that aside, today we are going to make something extremely difficult to make, especially in a portable setting. Now, the portable setting that we have here, again, is a, a desk, a chair in an office, basically, a sales office for a car dealership that we, uh, that we operate during the week. Uh, and this is how we do our food show. Pretty amazing. Can you imagine one day when we have some revenue left over and we can actually have a kitchen? You guys are going to be blown away. Uh, you guys, and, and we're going to meet. Everyone that's won something on this show, we're going to get together somehow. I don't know how we're going to do it yet. The Jeep people, um, I have one bit of news for Jeep uh, people, uh, personnel. We have given away six Jeeps so far. Our seventh and eighth Jeep consecutively, uh, respectively, are coming forth here in the next two weeks. The first Jeep we gave away was in January of 21. We gave it to a very, very special young lady by the name of Heather Hamlin. Heather was in a very serious car accident uh, about a month ago uh, in that Jeep, uh, lucky to be alive. Thank God she dropped her children off to her mother or uh, someplace prior to this uh, this rear-end collision and that uh, harmonicized her, her Jeep into a, a truck. Uh, very bad. So Heather, if you're here today, uh, our prayers are with you, baby. We're just glad you're back. We love you so much and we miss you. Um, uh, you want another Jeep? What was that? You want another Jeep? I don't know about that. Well, you, it's possible, I guess. So get that name in there. Your name's already in there. How do you get the Jeep? Yeah, same thing. You got to go to the contact section of the new Steve Henry Show. Put that email in there, contact information, and you're in. That's it. And I'm going to spin. It's going to come out of there in an impromptu situation. Kevin Harris, if you're here today, hello from Texas. Can't wait to see Texas. The Texas Home Improvement guys, uh, that's going to be a big thing. We're, 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 we're possibly working something very big on that, too. We'll uh, keep you posted on that as we blow, proliferate along. Okay, so I promised you holiday sauce uh, and the spin. We, Gosh, it's already time to go. Let's light the burners. And when I say light the burners, everything here is portable. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Everything here is portable. We're gonna light a burn. Boy, that thing's mad. How did it get so dirty? My goodness gracious. I'm, I'm embarrassed. Okay, so we should have a camera beam right down on this bowl. Now, most people would never attempt to do this uh, portable. Most people would never attempt to do this on a uh, direct uh, hit, such as a, a fire. Normally, this is gonna be done on a, um, on a uh, double boiler. Uh, so, we're not doing it on a double boiler. We're gonna do it on a direct burner from uh, our good friends at Coleman. Coleman. So you want to get a whip going and you want to just, uh, there are, what, what's in this Steve? Well, there are about seven egg yolks, a little lemon juice and some water. And it's very frothy. I got way too much water in here, but that's okay. So what we're attempting to do here is we're going to attempt to cook the egg yolks. Now the egg yolks need to be cooked, but man, we don't want to make scrambled eggs, right? That would ruin the sauce. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and very, very carefully. It's actually a little too hot here. You want to clean that down a little bit. Okay. So, uh, hollandaise sauce, of course, is the uh, final resting place for an Eggs Benedict. You want this sauce to be perfectly uh, cooked. You want it to be draped over the egg. I've taken the liberty of toasting the muffins and browning off the Canadian bacon. That's what you see on the cross right there. That right there, loved ones, is going to house our Eggs Benedict. Um, and again, time constraints, this is a 30 minute show, uh, but the, the muffins were toasted, anybody can do that. The uh, Canadian bacon was steamed, uh, that was about 15 minutes prior to showtime. So that's laying on top of the muffin and we are going to drape a beautifully poached egg laid by Hensley here just this week on top of that uh, nestled uh, Canadian bacon. Now, we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you how perfect that egg is. You know, most people just drop an egg in water and that thing just fragments, right? These eggs literally just form. They don't fragment, they form. There's a difference there. And when they form, you'll see what I'm talking about. Amazing discovery um, when that egg hits. Because when you put your fork to that egg through the sauce, it's gonna go pop. Yes, pop. All right, so Ethan won the egg uh, uh, contest. Uh, we had a, um, yeah, we had, a, we had an egg contest. That was pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna talk and jibber jabber here as I'm going, but what's, the, what's happening here, Steve? Well, right, what's happening here right now is the eggs are starting to steam. You see the steam come off that? The steam is coming off that really nicely. Now, what that's doing is cooking the egg, bleaching it out. You'll get a little bit of a bleach color in that whiteness there and that's going to be perfect okay that's exactly what we're looking for you see that consistency mm, nice okay 
Let's go ahead and turn that off. We're gonna go ahead and introduce the butter. Now, this is the, the very delicate part. You wanna do this very slowly at first. You wanna put about four, maybe five drops of butter into that egg uh, concoction, okay? And the reason for that is you want everybody to get acquainted. It's kind of like that first date, you know, at the, um, remember that first date, some of you? Uh, what happens is you're you know, a little timid, you're, you're careful, you're on your best behavior. Well, that's, that's what the butter is doing right now. The butter is basically just getting acquainted with the egg yolks. The egg yolks are acting as a sponge, uh, an absorbing agent for this um, clarified butter. So we've got about seven egg yolks. We've got some lemon, we've got some water, and we've got some drawn butter or separated butter, if you will. The separated butter is nothing more than just separating some uh, salted butter. You want a little salt because you want, uh, you want some flavor to go there. I'd rather put the salt in the, in the uh, hollandaise sauce through the butter than put it into a table salt or a granulated form and have it not dissolve properly. So what you see here right now is some bubbles forming. That's air pockets. That means it's alive, baby. It's alive. Just like Jesus, he's alive. And so the best part of this is we have a sauce that's saying yes, 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 we're alive. And I make a mess. You all know I'm not very good with names and I do make a mess when I cook. My wife can attest to that and anybody else who knows me. But here we are spinning it around. This is again, just getting acquainted very nicely. Now, the hollandaise sauce is quite simple. This is one of the five mother sauces that I've uh, told you about before. We have the tomato, we have the brown sauce, we have the bechamel sauce, we have the, the hollandaise sauce. And uh, what's the last one? Anybody, anybody, anybody? It's tomato. Looking at the board here, we got record numbers again. You guys, I love, if I haven't told you people, I love you lately. Who loves you? I do. Uh, let's see. My eyes are good. Shauna, Roxanne, Elizabeth Gerardo is here. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Hello, EJ. Boy, yeah. You know, uh, your old boss, I think, is here too. Tony T um, came back to work for me here. He's uh, working here uh, part time and uh, doing a great job. He hired you, God, probably 20 years ago at Circle K. Yeah, I remember that stuff. My memory's good, just not so good on names. We got some spinners going. We're going to give away some money today. And I'm just trying to talk and uh, lose my mind as I spin here and not try to catch, uh, lose my breath. So anyways, I'm just trying to get this sauce the perfect consistency. So when this sauce gets to the point where it's perfect, it will literally drape over that egg. So we are making Eggs Benedict O'Brien O'Gratin potatoes and a fresh fruit compote with that Mother Mary, Mother Mary, with that absolute vodka. And that absolute vodka, if you are um, a vodka drinker, some are and some aren't, uh, either way, we don't condemn you or we don't, uh, we don't eat away, but um, uh, that gets shaken. And I think that's really cool. It's it literally, you walk around your guest with a cucumber in your hand um, and you've got your, uh, your Virgin Mary or your Bloody Mary um, absolute. And I think that is very cool myself. You can put that lime uh, spritzer on the lime uh, twister on the very top. Okay, this is to the point now where it is perfect. It is absolutely flawless, loved ones. And what I mean by flawless is this sauce will literally drape. That took no more than about six minutes, I believe. And there goes my bell bell. Okay, so uh, what, else, what else should we finish this with? We're gonna finish this with a, a little zing zang, zing zang. Now, a lot of people will put a cayenne pepper. I like pepper, cayenne pepper's cool, but the flakes will actually give you the same effect and it'll give you some consistency. So, uh, depending on how you like it, some people like it hot. Some people like it hot, some people don't. Um, I'm kind of in the middle, so uh, I'm gonna take this away from one camera, but, um, oh, Lord have mercy. This is, oh my gosh, darn it. Doesn't get any better than this. Now, you can put more pepper in it. You can put uh, also, you can also put uh, some more uh, lemon if you want. Okay, so that's gonna drape. I wanna put a little bit more, uh, just a tad more, just a tad more butter. Um, and then the reason for that is, I want this to be really perfectly, perfectly consistent and uh, I look for perfection. Yes, 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 in my cooking abilities, that's the only thing I, I have. That's the only thing I've got is what God gave me. And uh, I don't know what your gift is for God, what God gifted you, but I'm so glad he gave me cooking because it is kind of cool. You can do a lot with cooking um, and you don't have to be all that great at it either. All right, so that is now, yes, that is, that is, oh, that's perfect. Okay, so that's the sauce that we're gonna have. We're going to, now, uh, the perfect egg, as I mentioned, is done with a scientific formula of the white vinegar. The white vinegar, I can't tell you why, but for some reason, instead of scattering that egg, it forms that egg. And here, what we have here is a, a platter of, of perfectly formed eggs. Now, these eggs were uh, laid by uh, 
God, you're a good bird. Awfully quiet, too. Remember, we've had a real one in here before. Remember that? Yes, we did. All right, so these are basically just dabbed in a little bit of um, avocado oil. And the reason for that is so they don't stick to the plate. But uh, these were poached a little prior to showtime. And I'm gonna put these on here um, ever so gently. And this is how you would serve, again, this is set up, ladies and gentlemen, loved ones, for your guests to come by with their plates. And I have plateware too that is not actual real plateware, but we're not gonna do that today. All right, there, there's my reach. Okay, now, so we have the perfectly poached egg. You see how those are just setting on that, nestled perfectly on the Canadian bacon? They're not scattered. And if, if I were to show you the water that these actually came out of, you're not gonna find a bunch of fragments of white uh, egg yolks floating around anywhere. It's, it's like clarified water. It's so pure because of what Jesus did on the water and the wine. Uh, we have the perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect concoction. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and sauce these and we'll garnish these. We're gonna spin for some money. We've got uh, record numbers. God, I love you people. All right, so here's the hollandaise sauce. You would go ahead and just, oh my God, drape that sauce literally over that egg like so. And we're gonna do this just so you see the idea. And then I'm going to finish this off by garnishing. Look at the color of that sauce too. That color, that's exactly the color that you want. You want that bleach lemon yellow look uh, you don't want that big yellow but see how that just drapes then those speckles that you see there those are uh, nothing more than the red speckled flex uh, flakes of, of red pepper now that is a flawless uh, oh god I, I mean is that not beautiful now we're going to top a little bit what is that steve well that's orange zest what yeah wait until you taste a little orange zest on top of that Eggs got it. And now, you also can do a lot of things too. Uh, a couple of things you can use. I like smoked salmon or lox. I like to do that. I like asparagus. You could put anything underneath or on top of or around your, your eggs benedict ensemble. Now, uh, truffles was really big in France. They, they used to do a lot of things with truffles. That's that black effect. So, but these are not odd uh, truffles. These are actually chopped olives. So you can put a nice chopped ripe olive over the top of this or around the side. The color is incredible. It gives you that Halloween look. Am I silly to the ear? I am totally silly, Gilly. I'm in a good mood. I've I, I got about $300 worth of glass broken out of my, my car lot. And uh, But look at, the, look at the color in that. Is that not just marvelous, darling? Marvelous. I, I can't, uh, phew, huh? Now that, loved ones, it doesn't get much better than that. Let's recap before we do the respin here. Uh, we're going to recap. And the recap goes like this. This is in four segments, uh, this brunch, part three, four entrees. Uh, if you go back and watch the videos, if this is the only video you saw, shame on you, uh, we did uh, designer omelets, similar to this type of fashion. We uh, were able to pick and choose our own entree uh, selections, asparagus, mushroom, bell pepper, onion, shrimp, uh, sausage, whatever. And we made omelets in front of you, literally. And when you do that in front of somebody, it's like, wow, that is cool. Only a hotel does that. Not just any hotel. You watch the Steve Henry show, so we do it here. Then uh, part two, last week, we had the Belgian waffle and the bananas foster crepe. Now that's a cool ensemble as well. And you saw the display there. And then today we have, this is more Jesus, okay? We put the bunny kind of to the side because it is Easter. Uh, this is all about the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And again, the show, as I said, emanates from him. All these ideas come from him. Thank God they don't come to me. Uh, or I, I have anything to do with this. What I have to do with this is I basically listen and um, do a lot of meditating and uh, try to raise that bar. We've got some cool stuff coming too. Wait until you see what's coming. But anyways, this is number four. So the Bloody Mary, the Virgin Mary, however you want to do it, shake it, pour it, put it on a skewer. Look at that skewer, carrot, radish, lime, peppers, a garlic, whatever, put that in there too. That's Talk about flavor in your Bloody Mary mix. Um, there's nothing bland about that at all. Carve out a sea cucumber and hold that bad baby on a stand with a watermelon portrait and you've got yourself a glass literally they can drink out of. And again, we go for that effect here. We literally go for everything should be edible on your table or as close to edible as possible, okay? The O'Brien potatoes all gratin. All that is is the bell pepper and the uh, potato uh, hollowed out. We just bake the potato, hollow it out, put some cheddar and some jack on there and some mozzarella and we uh, flame roast to that to where that melted a little bit. That's their start. They'd come by with a plate, get their drink, and of course finish off with the Eggs Benedict. And not to mention, they would literally come to the fruit compote, which is the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's not there. There's some uh, crickets I hear chirping and a tarantula and some fresh fruit. And they would finish off with a fresh fruit compote. And that is their entree for 
Easter Sunday brunch. Ladies and gentlemen, loved ones, Eggs Benedict. And boy, when they bite into that Eggs Benedict and take that fork and that knife, that egg, literally, I'm not kidding you, will pop. And you don't have to take it out from the water to the muffin and have it all soggy. That's the whole point of the platter prior to with a little bit of avocado oil uh, from sticking. You literally just hand hold that egg onto that device of the Canadian bacon and you've got yourself a perfectly done thing. Okay. We are gonna spin here in just a moment uh, for some money. Uh, we're up against 427. We need that spinner in here so I can get uh, some spin going here. We're gonna spin for some money. That's what we do here. We love to give away money here on the show. It's part of who we are and what we do. It's what God calls me to do. And when we do so, uh, I hope it helps. I know it's not a lot for right now, but in some point it's going to be a lot, I promise you, because it's gonna be big. And how does this show get big? Well, it's gonna get big by you. Um, watching videos and watching commercials and just uh, sharing. I, we need, uh, we got to subscribe, got to have people uh, come and go and, and, and stay. Um, we've got a mass, we almost, almost have 5,000 subscribers. I'm blown away by that number. And consecutively, we have uh, 100 people in and out, 110 that watch the show on a, on a, on a, on a live basis. And then we have about another 400 uh, that will watch it between Saturday after five o'clock to like Tuesday or Wednesday of next week drift in and out and watch it So all together five or six hundred people if you see the views will come and watch this live show uh, We do a preview show. Uh, it's about a 30 second uh, to two minute show on Thursdays Wednesdays Fridays depending on how George feels and we get that done and uh, That is our, our prelude to our Saturday show So one little video and one live video and then if you miss the live video damn I missed the live video No, it's okay. It's okay. You can watch it uh, in it's a pre-recorded stage. You just can't participate in any of the winnings. Speaking of winnings, here we go. The first two hundred dollars. I gotta be careful. There is so much on this table, and believe it or not, uh oh, you know what happens? You know what happens with this guy right here? Zoom in on him. Whenever we have one kind of fall off to the wayside, that's kind of like the prodigal child, the way I look at it in a biblical sense. Uh, he or she kind of falls off and falls out. So this is our, our prelude to our giveaway here, and we've got some great numbers. Oh my God, uh, this guy. Oh my God, Emilio Garibay. Washington State. Congratulations, Emilio! You've won the first $200 to the Eggs Benedict. And we're going to get that out to you. I know we've got you because you've won before. I don't want it. I want a new person. All right, so we're going to spin. We're going to keep everybody in this time. And we're just going to leave that wide open there before that falls off. This is like a, a, literally a, a trap. One little false move and this whole thing could come coming down. And I'm, I'm not kidding you. I spend uh, what little bit of time I have, not much, putting all of this together. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. And every little piece has this little place and let me tell you it is a, an amazing thing it sits on a desk loved ones it's a desk with a tv stand that's about as wobbly as me which is pretty pretty wobbly wow very cool i don't think we know this person this could be a first timer jasmine trujillo you are the winner of another 200 dollars yay jasmine trujillo all right now now you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna reach in here and i'm just gonna pull out a bunch of names here some time we're falling on the floor. I'm sorry about that. I really am, but I got a whole handful of names here. All right, this is just to help you with gas or food or, or just go to the movies or get your mind off what's going on out there right now. It's just so stupid. Disney and just all this stuff. Why can't we just be one, you know, and just love? That's what, that's what he said. He left us with one commandment, just one thing. Love one another. Forget all the other stuff. Just love one another. Do you realize if we just did that, if we just stopped our day and said, you know what, I don't really like you too much, you know, but I love you and I'm, I'm gonna try my best. Can you imagine what that would do? Instead of backstabbing or gossiping or whatever it is we do. Amazing, Michelle H. Oh God, I'm so glad. It's not much, sweetheart. I love you so much. She is under, she lost her mom, as you know, uh, if you're new to the show. She lost her mother uh, to cancer here uh, recently. And, she lives up in Canada. She, I believe, is our only out-of-the-country uh, um, uh, person, uh, board of director, a uh, loved one, uh, partner. I, we, we just love you. I don't care who you are. We, you don't have a title, but you don't need a title because you're Michelle H. from Canada. You won 50 bucks, girl. I'll get that check out to you. And congratulations. I hope you are feeling better. You have a lot going on in your plate right now. Kayla Davenport. Yay, Kayla! I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, and and you, uh, you actually came through and did something very good uh, to Exodus Auto Sales. You kept your word. And your word is, your word is gold here, babe. We love you for that. Thank you, Kayla. Next up, we have Danny Kubica. Hey, that Danny 
up there in Washington State. We got some Washington State people today. I know I'm running way over time. Do you guys care? Do you guys care? Would you rather I just sit here and give out money or do you want me to just <laughs> cut this thing? They're telling me, you're done, bro, you're done. I don't know, this is YouTube. I don't like this. You know how, I'm not a, a big conformer. Clarissa Hayward. Give it up for another $50 for Clarissa. All right, I know, I know. They're really pushing me. I'm, I'm really good. Becky McCormick, again, Becky, I'm gonna see you at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna really, I'm gonna follow you around now. You think you're gonna get away? I'm gonna follow you around. By the way, by the way, Becky, I hope you're feeling better. She took a little fall yesterday. I know I probably shouldn't say that on air. A uh, little bruise. Um, I hope you're okay. I, I saw that. Uh, oh boy, it's scary. And we gotta be, all watch out for each other. Oh my God, I love you too. This girl here won a Jeep. She won Jeep number four. We drove to Phoenix after, we, this is kind of a deja vu weird thing. She drove, we drove to Phoenix after we got robbed. We got robbed. Nine cars got stolen out of here the night before. We were debating, should we go, should we go, should we go? This girl would have, uh, she was counting on us to go. So we actually ended up going in the middle of the night. We got there. Patricia Rice, you've gotten 50 bucks. I hope that helps you with And your new apartment, girl. All right, everybody, I'm gonna say goodbye to a few people. We got John Peralta there. Oh, John. Cool. Danny and Jesse's there. Cassie King. All right. I see Nathan's there. Lisa Rogers. John, Elizabeth, Gerardo. It's good to see you again back, Elizabeth. It really is. Uh, all of you, I love you. Thank you for tuning in today. Next week, we're going to kind of close out winter. We're going to uh, bring spring in. It's going to be kind of a soup and sandwich kind of thing. Cream and mushroom. Did you know Campbell's soup? The number one selling Campbell's soup is cream of mushroom. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how to make the best cream of mushroom. And what are you going to eat it out of? Oh, that's right. Love you guys. I'll see you next week on the Steve Henry Show. Share the video. Watch the videos. Watch the commercials. I love you. See you next week. Oh, my God.